Hey everyone, I'm going to try and do a quick video um, because I'm afraid Henry's going to jump up. <coughs> also, I have COVID. Um, so I'm going to read Psalm. I picked out the Psalm. Where was it? Uh, oh, Psalm 139. That's a favorite. Okay, so, so and I'll read the amplified version and just hope that Henry doesn't run away. Henry, can you listen to the word of God, huh? Good boy. I'll try and keep his attention. Okay, Psalm 139. Oh Lord, you have searched me thoroughly and have known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up, my entire life, everything I do. You understand my thoughts, my thought from afar. You scrutinize my path and my lying down. And you are intimately acquainted with all my ways. Even before there is a word on my tongue, Still unspoken, behold, O oh Lord, you know it all. You have enclosed me behind and before, and you have placed your hand upon me. Such infinite knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is too high above me. I cannot reach it. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, the, the nether world, the place of the dead, behold, you are there. If I take the wings of the dawn, if I dwell in the remotest part of the sea, even there your hand will lead me and your right hand will take hold of me. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the night will be the only light around me, even the darkness is not dark to you and conceals nothing from you, but the night shines as bright as the day. Darkness and light are alike to you, for you formed my innermost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I will give thanks and praise to you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, and my soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being formed in secret and intricately and skillfully formed as if embroidered with many colors in the depths of the earth. Your eyes have seen my unformed substance, and in your book were all written the days that were appointed for me, when as yet there was not one of them even taking shape. How precious also are your thoughts to me, O God! How vast is the sum of them! If I could count them, they would outnumber the sand, when I awake, I'm still with you. Oh, that you would kill the wicked, O oh God. Go away from me, therefore, men of bloodshed, for they speak against you wickedly. Your enemies take your name in vain. Do I not hate those who hate you, O oh Lord? And do I not loathe those who rise up against you? I hate them with perfect and utmost hatred. They have become my enemies. Search me. Thoroughly, O oh God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Um, sorry. And see if there's any wicked or hurtful way in me. And lead me in the everlasting way. Sorry, Henry, Henry moved. Okay, sorry, that's the end of the Psalm 139, which was a great psalm. I love that one. There was something that really stood out. Um, oh, yeah, I think the line, oh, I mean, there's so many lines that are really standing out, but sorry, I'm not holding the camera right. But that, oh wait, now I have to find it. Hold on a sec.
well, <laughs> I'm trying to find it's the fact that he that all our days are written, you know, appointed even before we're born. I I actually find a lot of comfort in that. Um, all right, let's see if you can see <clears throat> Henry. We need to see your face, Henry. Oh, sorry, blackout, blackout. Sorry, bad cinematography. I better keep this short. Um, there. Yeah, anyway, I find great comfort in that because it's all... Yeah, I don't know. It's just comforting. The whole thing is beautiful. Beautiful psalm. But um, let me say a prayer because I'm not holding the camera well. Yeah, okay. Oh, and thank you for your prayers and your loving comments. I do feel better. I'm, I think I'm making my turn around. So thank you, Lord. Not my time yet. <laughs> um, Henry, you have some dandruff. We need to take care of your dry skin. Okay, I'm going to set this on him. You can just kind of see his ears there. Okay. Um, I'll just say a prayer. Lord, Thank you for your word. I pray for um, my YouTube friends. I pray for everyone who might be grieving the loss of loved ones, whether furry loved ones or, or human loved ones. I just ask that you comfort them and support them with your loving kindness and tender mercies, Lord. I pray for um, anyone who's sick that you would bring healing and just ask for um, your blessings on, on everyone who, who cares to really uh, listen to your word and turn to your word and we just pray for um, your blessings, Lord, of, of peace, joy, and love. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for coming into the world and saving us. <clears throat> Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, and for the peace of Israel, and for peace. And we look forward to the Prince of Peace arriving again and bringing true peace. I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, everybody. Thank you again for the the beautiful comments and the prayers. I do feel them so much, and I think I'm making a turnaround, so thank you. All right, everyone. Henry? Henny, where's Bug? <laughs> that got his attention. Hen oh, sorry. Henry? Where's Bug? Okay. Now Guster's coming over for a hug. Okay.